Olá, sejam bem-vindos a mais um Pen Responde. Yeah. Yeah. Edição super especial, porque temos o Homem dos Drafts aqui, então já dá para ter uma noção do que a gente vai falar sobre hoje. Algumas coisas, né? Tá nervoso, Circle? Tô um pouco. Primeiro Pen Responde. É o primeiro, é. Primeiro Pen Responde, é, porque... No last video we talked less English and you guys want more English so that's we'll try to do it more and you guys asked if Cody doesn't like to talk. I told you guys Cody doesn't like to talk it's fine he's shy you guys remember wiser in the beginning he didn't talk as well and now he's basically speaking Portuguese it's true or not you are shy yeah. he's shy Super So first question is to everyone by Princess Lux. You guys keep saying that you are training with several different picks and you didn't have a chance to show them yet. But clearly this weekend you saw that you guys showed some choices that didn't work out. What do you have to say? Sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, yes. I mean, that's kind of the point, right? You practice and then you have to try it eventually. In Spanish, it's actually too. I mean, we kind of expect that they were banning Maokai this week. So we're trying like new things, especially for Kaka. And since like it's very different what we played for the past few weeks, it's harder to adapt. It takes a little bit more time to do that. So we are trying a lot. So it's not like just for fun, of course. We expect to be so much better by the end of the regular phase. So just... Uh, be patient with us. We, really. we even planning to ban Maokai, maybe, if they don't ban. And this, this kind of champions, like Lee Sin, is way different on, on screen and on stage. Right. Oh, it's spot, spot. Because on screen, it's so easy to get kills because they don't respect and it's so easy to make a play. And on stage, it's more difficult. Right. That's even also Maokai so OP, you know. Play Lee Sin against Maokai, for example, on screens. Normally, Lee Sin is strong. They get three or four kills mm -hmm. by ganking or 1v1 or whatever. But in on stage, of course, it's harder to get these advantages, you know. That's so, why it's harder to execute the champion. Yeah, so that's why we should practice on stage too. We should feel yeah. the, the champion on stage. Mm -hmm. Where were we trying new stuff in game as well? Sides picks? Yeah, 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 in game yeah. too, because uh, when I change my pick, it's not only my, my champion. It's a, like a whole new playstyle. Right. Titan is so quiet, I need to find a question for Titan. Okay, I found one. We know that Smolder is really strong, but why do you think so many Smolders here in Brazil and in other regions did not perform so well, even delaying the point of the Stacking. stacks to past 30 minutes? What happened? People don't know how to play him, teams are good at shutting him down, what's the... Um, I think the structure of the drafts, it matters a bit when you play with him also. Teams are fighting so much at the early game, so sometimes he die and he couldn't get so many stacks. And it was uh, kind of difficult to stack when game is messy. Yeah, I could, I could feel it's not just Brazil, you know, like yeah. some, some regions that I watch is not that good either. But yeah, this motor is stronger. It, it depends on the time that you are gonna fight, you know. Uh -huh. 125 stacks is enough to fight. But before, it's kind of what we did against Loud and we lose at the early game breaks. You know? Yeah, and I guess it depends on the what's happening in the game, right? Because people were like, oh, Mikão was fully stacked before 20 minutes. Right, he played well, but it depends. Like, if nothing happens, I guess it's easier to just yeah. stay in lane and farm. But if we have to fight, if we have to cover the jungle, then... It's not it's... like you can control, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Do you like the full squishy build? Like the Essence Reaver, Navori? Is it your favorite? Well, you it's my favorite because it does so much damage and it depends if enemy can reach you at the team fight. So you need to look at this, like... When you play against guys, uh, something like that, you you will not be able to to get that risky build. But it, it was good. Yeah, I like more this build than the other. I, I guess my question would be: I think everyone is doing that build mostly, but is, it's something that you practice, right? You practice the different builds. So if you have a situation where you can go the different build, you would be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. People want to know why did we not ban Zai's Pike? Is it a strategy or is it ego? Ego. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a general ego for being like... Really? Truthfully, yeah. It's like when you talk about Pike, we all kind of agree that it's a really bad champion. Okay. Overall. Yeah. Even if he's like OTP, we still think he's, he's like a bad champion. Yeah. So he will 
not do as much but since we mistake kind of a lot against him he annoyed us a lot in the game and then people say ah why you just don't ban me pior que o estranho é que tipo normalmente Pyke ele bagunça muito ele é ele foi no late game foi estranho mesmo ele tá ele estava muito atrás então o Pyke tava sendo lixo e a partir daí era pra ele ser só lixo até o fim do jogo exato só que ele depois que o jogo dele jogar bem com a gente errar muito sim 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 que a gente tem confiança no nosso jogo que tipo o Pyke não consegue fazer muita coisa se a gente chegar lá no dragão vai fazer o que? Vai matar todo mundo. É, 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 o jeito é forte, a gente não sabe. Are you afraid of Pike? Not this game, no. What? Because I am Carlist. Oh, yeah. True. Ainda tem isso, né? Não sei o Carlista. Carlista só faz Pike tem um, mano. Infelizmente. Mano, eu queria que ela fizesse Pike tem mim também. Tá, o que a gente falou, cara. Pike, por forte, Pike, this game shouldn't, shouldn't be able to do something on us, like, we have stronger bot sides, so Pike is nothing. And also we can play for the Drakes all the time, he would do nothing to but we just mess up our mid game that's why we we went down we keep dying everywhere i die straight bush like we are dying everywhere and it's not just just champion death. champion death, you know? like, he played well also of course but we are messing up so much okay question for the team including sarkis if he's there this is from ketchup on pizza this weekend it seemed like you tested new compositions and game strategies and but why did we do it against our biggest rival i guess Fully. Yeah. Cai muito rápido com esses comebacks. Uh, I guess the, the, the fans were a little bit upset that we practiced against Loud, specifically. Like, as yeah. you said, we're practicing and we have to try on stage and it's probably the best option to try against the hardest team, right? Yeah, we, like, of course, you, we just want to win against Loud because of background, mm -hmm. okay. But since we practice this a lot, it was kind of like... Uh, confident, we are confident on mm -hmm. this. So it's not like just a scream on stage, it's not just like that, you know. It's kind of a mix of something, but when we show, seems like we're kind of just practicing, uh -huh. not try hiding, but it was kind of the opposite because we only played this the whole week. Because we practiced. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's the, the, the combination of the loss and people seeing new stuff and people just assume that we're oh, we don't care about this game, let's just try new stuff. But we probably practiced the whole week. I mean, people are going to ask this to Dinkedo. Why do you insist on a Zir, knowing that you have better picks? Actually, this weekend was tough. For my Azir, I couldn't make the place. I know. Especially against Loud, I feel like I played like worse than that I could. What was the matchup, sorry? Was Azir against? Talia. 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 And to be honest, after we mess up on this first rake, the game was hard for me to look windows, you know? If we don't mess up on that first rake, it, the game structure at least should be different a lot. But of course, in team fights too, I could play better. That's why I felt I felt bad after the game. And I guess Furia is, as we said, we mess up uh, as a team and I couldn't do much anyway, so... But anyway, Azir is like one of my f most comfort pick so I, I, I don't care you know just a bad weekend you know it could be bad weekend if I play like way like that too or whatever you know and Azir is strong strong champion so we need to be ready to play that so I will play again we trust, you know, we trust when you play a lot of a lot of time the champions sometimes they're gonna play bad you know we see Faker mess up games too and he plays Azir we see yeah. everyone mess up it's, uh, Azir father messing up a lot so yeah. it happens you know our focus will be better just on next next time My personal opinion to the fans is that Azir is really strong, but he's not as OP as people think. And I think people eventually will start picking new stuff against Azir and will stop playing so much Azir. Especially Ari. I think Ari might be strong, but people haven't caught up yet. Ari. Yeah, but that's just my personal opinion. I don't play competitive. I don't know. I miss Ari. Question for everyone besides the term. Besides the Yeah. What's the best thing that Titan brought to this team? To I wanna hear what I brought to Jin Kiedo all night. What I brought wiser. <laughs> 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 First of all, he helps our communication a lot. Mm. Good shot caller. And he's really aggressive and he catches the windows well. So it helps to, it helps to see more enemies in the game, you know? More proactive, uh, still became more proactive. He play aggressive, like we can use his aggressiveness, you know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Team is not for it. No for it. You actually know for it. Oh, do you think that you can have a good idea? Yes. For the senior Puga, I think same as Wiser for sure. And because him and Kuri, they can make a play by themselves, so. This is good for me because I can think more, I can like join in their play. 
it's less heavy. Like I don't need to organize everything because mm -hmm. they they can make a play too. So sometimes I, I can say if it's bad or not because they like to play too much aggressive. So sometimes it's too much. At least I think we are more uh, creative on the game now because of Titan because of Kurichu. I, I assume for the jungle specifically, it's probably a lot lighter to play if you don't have to coordinate everything, right? Especially if you're playing something like Lee because you have to think more mechanically, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're Malka, you just don't have to think as much, but... Yeah, Malka is really OP, <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think, Jinkei? What did you bring? Ah, Sarkis also has this success. Or how do you want to work with him? Yeah, of course, this point they said is good, so I will not uh, keep repeating. I'm gonna say he brought us a new energy and vision of the game. Mm -hmm. He really likes to kind of control the situation, control the game, different than, let's say, maybe B-Voy. B-Voy was a really great player too, but he was like more uh, rely on us, I guess. Mm -hmm. And Titan, he likes to control more the game, so he has different vision than us before. Like now we are like getting on the same page, but before when he came, like was different vision, different experiences. In the beginning was really good for us to understand like what he saw from outside the, here, you know. We, mm -hmm. Sarkis. My opinion is like one thing especially that I like about Titan is when he have advantage by himself or 2v2 or Kaka helped him. I think he is a great player of keeping that on the edge. So he makes the plays even though he's ahead. He's not afraid to lose his advantage. So for me, this is like the greatest point that he have and he brought that to us. And for me, the other thing, he likes to play a whole bunch of champions. And this for practice is really good because I never see him complaining like, uh, I don't want to play this champion. Not so even Serafini? Ah, this. <laughs> maybe oh, this answer, one you were right. Oh, my answer. Let me look. No, Serafini, ele não. Serafini foi clutch. Não, não, não. Você já perguntou ele foi clutch. Ele perguntou. Okay, Wiser, I'm sorry, you don't have a question this week, so I'm gonna ask you something. Do you think the the Garen is a really strong counter pick against Cassante, or maybe so so? I don't think it's much good. Like I think Archie explained, I have many details, but it's my secret. Mm. You know? Hmm, secret. Okay. You think he's still strong after this patch? I think so. I don't feel much different. You guys already play on the next patch, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah next week we play. So Lulu is stronger. Lulu, no, also Lulu is there now. Ah, Lulu is in Lulu mid. Whether do you prefer deal supports like Soraka, Lulu, or Nautilus, Alistar, Rail? For me, of course, I... Uh, I meant Kuri, sorry. Did I ask you? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I ask why? Sorry, Lizer, but we I'm don't, sorry. We don't really care. Tank support or... Mage. Deal support. Deal support. Off, off. Off, off, okay. So maybe Soraka next week. Tudo bem, então agora... Esse foi o Pen Responde. So sad. So sad. Muito obrigado por assistir e não esqueçam de deixar o que vocês acharam nos comentários, se inscrever no canal, ativar o sininho, torcer por nós, abençoar o Azir do Jinkas e até a próxima semana. Tchau, tchau. 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 tchau.